In this video, I'm going to walk you through step-by-step -step how to remove late payments off your credit report. This is exactly how credit repair agencies do it themselves. So follow this video so you do not have to pay for someone else to do it for you. Let's break this down as simple as possible so you can start taking action today to get these late payments removed off the report. It is important to note that your credit score is made up of five credit factors. And the biggest factor is payment history which makes up 35% of your score. I'm sure you've noticed if you ever missed a payment on your credit report, your score drops dramatically 80 to 100 points. The reason for that is, is your credit score is basically summed up to creditors and lenders by how likely is this person able to make these payments on time for the next 90 days. They care about you paying them back. Also, the most recent activity that is happening on your credit report affects your credit the most. So the late payments from the last month is affecting you way more than the one three years ago. So naturally with time, the derogatory item has less of a negative impact. Every point on your credit report matters. It affects you from opening up credit cards, loans, purchasing or renting a home. So regardless if you are watching this with a 500 credit score or a 720 credit score, if you have a late payment, you want to remove it. Late payments show up on your credit report as a 30, 60, 90, or 120 day late that eventually turns into a charge off. I always recommend to try and get current as soon as possible so you do not let it charge off. The mindset of, oh, I'll just deal with that later is not gonna help you in the future. These late payments affect you differently depending on the type of account you were late on. So for example, if you have a late payment on a car loan, if you apply for a new car, your credit score will be much lower for that particular application. Late payments will stay on your credit report seven years from the date of the late payment if they are not removed. So let's get into removing them. So first, you want to get a new copy of your credit report from all three credit bureaus. If you have not pulled your free annual credit report from annualcreditreport.com, go there or you can grab a free credit report directly from the credit bureaus. It is important to have a thorough report so you can see all the information on the account in case you need to send letters to the bureaus. If the account is open and active that you were late on, our first method should be to call the creditor. Say it's Chase Bank. Call them with your account information, explain to them why you were late, that you have had a long history with them, and that today you will sign up with automatic bill pay if they remove this late payment and update it as current. If you have a checking account with Chase, it helps even more since they can see that you have money in the account to make at least your minimum payment each month. It is important not to lie about the late. Admit you were late and explain how you have been a long time loyal customer and this only happened because you were sick, you lost your job, family matters, or whatever the reason is. This method works if you have had one or two late payments with them. If you have been late multiple times this year, it will be harder to get them to agree to forgive the late. If this method does not work, next up would be the Goodwill Adjustment Letter. This is sending out a letter to the creditor using a letter that looks something like this. Make sure to screenshot it. Pro tip on these letters. Look up the address on the report for the creditor and Google the best address for disputes for this certain creditor. You will be able to see online some addresses that other people have used. So just send the same letter to all these addresses, which widens your range of approval. For these letters, list out the account, the account number, explanation of what happened, and ask them to forgive the late payment. It's basically writing out what you said over the phone to them into a letter and attaching any supporting documents that you have. If this late payment is truly reporting inaccurately, make sure to attach your proof of payment, including the date and withdrawal from your account or any correspondence you have had with that certain creditor. If this truly is an accurate late payment, meaning you were 30 or 60 days late, I have seen the more emotional and personal you get in these letters, the better results you get. This means you should say you have had trouble getting approved for a home, a lease, or approved for credit cards due to this late payment. So to please forgive it and remove it. I would also include that you are going to set up your automatic payment so you do not miss a payment again. These two methods work the best if you have a good payment history with this creditor. 
If you have had a lot of late payments and a short history with the creditor, I recommend for you to wait six to 12 months of ongoing positive payment history before you send out these letters. The longer and better the history, the better chance you have for removal. Next up would be disputing it to the bureaus. When you are disputing to the bureaus, you are disputing against an inaccuracy in reporting. Even if the late payment is correct, if there is any inaccurate information reporting, like the opening date, this is where you can get them to remove it due to inaccurate reporting. It is important to note to not lie. If you are indeed late, do not just state, I was not late, please remove this late payment. You have to list out an error in reporting. If a late payment is reporting to all three of the bureaus, you will draft one letter to each bureau using a letter that looks something like this. A lot of people get confused here and think they have to send a different type of letter to remove a late payment versus a charge off. You do not. You are using the same round one validation letter and listing out the account, the account number, and what action you want done. In this case, it is for giving the late payment and updating it as current. So first we wanna put a security freeze on these third parties, LexisNexis, SageStream, and Innovis. Then wait 30 days to send out your first letter. These third parties house your information and freezing them inhibits the credit bureaus from validation. After 30 days, you want to prepare your three validation letters, one to each of the bureaus. Remember to include a picture of your driver's license, your social, your proof of residence, and any other supporting documentation that pertain to this certain account. To be extra careful, send this as certified mail so you can make sure to track that they did receive the information then wait 30 days to see what results you get. If they validate the account and do not remove the late payment, I recommend asking for a method of validation and to prove that you were late on this account. If they are not able to verify this or show you proof, they have to remove this account according to the Fair Credit Reporting Act within 30 days. These techniques work for an open and closed account. Some of the strategies like trying to sign up for automatic bill pay will not work for a closed account. And I see more success with sending letters to the bureaus for late payments on closed accounts. Remember to be consistent when sending out your letters and tracking. Attach as much supporting documentation as you can and try and work on other derogatory items on your credit report as well to help with your score. The sooner you can attack these late payments by getting on the phone and sending out your letters, the better the chance you have for removal. The longer you are making payments on time on your accounts, the less these late payments affect your score. So build enough credit, make your payments on time, and you will start to see your score improve. Once again, my name is Ari Fruman. If you liked this video, make sure to watch this one right here, where I walk you through the ultimate guide to fixing your credit on your own step-by-step -step, with all three letter templates included. So I'll see you in the next video.